Looks like the time has come for another transition. We are leaving our lovely place in Healdsburg and searching for a new place to park Shirley. Play, the problem is, as usual, Shirley's a big girl. Not every play, not everybody can uh, take her. We're looking at a place in Guerneville right now and I'm um, hoping that'll work. Still looking for a place in the area because we're working the nine to fives, trying to pay off some of those big ticket items like the student loans and Shirley herself before we can um, be a little bit more free and uh, also saving up for that boat. Also, where else would we be? It's COVID land. There's nowhere to be. Everything is closed. So we're like nine to five, COVID. I mean, we might as well. What are you guys doing? But, um, you know, you make do, you, uh, you power through. And so now Chris is on his own moving our 40 foot Shirley down the road uh, to our next destination, Garnville. Um, and uh, it's gonna be, we know it's gonna be kind of a tight squeeze. So hopefully he makes it in there um, without like an extra set of eyes to help direct. And um, I left this morning, you know, like, this is the last I'll see of you, Pence. This is the last I'll see of you. I didn't say goodbye to the river, but I'm sure we'll be back to visit friends and what have you. I will miss it. To new adventures, Thurnville, the Gay Riviera. I'm excited about that. So we're here, it's day one, and um, so far, so good. I'll show you our spot next to a tiny house. Here's Shirley. We've got a neighbor already, which wasn't when we first got here. And um, I'll tell you, we're excited that it's a mixed couple because, you know, this place is pretty white. And uh, it matters to see people of color traveling too. It's nice. So yeah, what do you think, baby? So um, far, so good. So far, so good. There's a couple of rules I don't like. Like um, I can't have Comcast today. Rule one. Uh, That's not the rule. That's Comcast fault. I can't have Lumpy off leash because of Comcast. That's not Comcast fault. <laughs> that's the, that's the rules. And there's a leech field with like sensitive uh, sewer components that I can't walk on. Yes, that's true. This lovely green area is not for actual use. Also, it's the leech field. Somebody put baby in a corner. My baby, don't put baby in a corner. Looks to me like you have yourself a hammock chair. I do, I do. Come over here and see the view from this way. Here. But I have my own hammock chair. I know. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh yeah, 
There's our house. Hey, that's pretty nice. Look at all those trees. Yeah, surrounded by redwoods. We could do this. This will work for a while. Yeah. I think so. So uh, we've been playing ball with our dog because um, we just came over here from uh, past the 100 year old bridge right here to this side of the river. That side is the reserved side of the river. This side's free. And this fur's enjoying himself. So are we. He's like, I remember this. Oh, boy. We're here in Guerneville at Equality Wine. We're about to do the tasting, which is $20 so far anyway. I'm here too. Chris is also here. So <laughs> First one's gonna be a rosé, a sparkling, which is not my favorite. We'll see how it goes. Chris, it's not what I look like. <laughs> how meta. We've driven by this place many, many times, and uh, we've always wanted to check it out. You know, it says equality wine time, which uh, is fitting for Guerneville, so, you know, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm, I have no idea where the wines are from. I hope they're local, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just enjoying this. This is like finally something to do downtown in Guerneville. Post, well, not post pandemic. During, During the exit of pandemic. We hope. We hope. I mean, we say that, knock on something. Uh, yeah, knock on um, marble or Formica. Did you get it? Something amazing about this place, and I haven't even started on the wine yet, is that each wine is cause-based, and so each, I guess, vintner um, is based on and supports some sort of cause. This one is LGBTQ plus um, organization based, and they help uh, people or young people that are coming out to less supportive households, um, college funds with housing funds, etc. And I just think it's so amazing. I'm not going to necessarily tell you each one, but I just am in love with this place. A quality wines. Let's. I'll actually drink the wine now. Mm -hmm. mm. How is it? Refreshing. Mm -hmm. and I, I'm not super into sparkly rosés, but for a sparkly rosé, yeah, yes. Alright, so this one is Gitcher Rundown Coffee Chardonnay. 
And so along with all the other wines that we sell here at Quality Vine, this one's another cause-based wine. We recognize her as the first person to uh, have a class action lawsuit for women's equal pay in the workplace. Nice! And so she really started that whole entire thing in the United States and we, we have a lot to thank her for. So as far as the Chardonnay goes, do you know if it's an oak finish or steel finish? Nice. That's fantastic. That's my favorite. I would buy a bottle of this. Oh, this is really good. Oh, wow. That last... This is a great... This is a great Chardonnay. It's like almost... Like, it's got... Like, it's like a meal and then a dessert at the end. Mm -hmm. It's like... It's like... It's like four or five notes. Yeah. How funny. I like it. Cabernet. Man. Okay, first of all, as much as I really like this place, it is on the corner of busy and very busy. And so if you're gonna sit outside, just expect that. It's fine unless you're trying to videotape yourself. We had like two options, either sit inside and listen to copyrighted music uh, really loudly, which we couldn't have filmed on, or you know, sit by the street. Hey, uh, real quick, what was your name? Sierra. Sierra? Yeah. All right, cool. I just wanna... Thank you, Sierra. I'm Chris. This is Kat. Chris and Kat? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Kat. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. Like I yeah. said, I'm kind of new working here. But awesome. I don't plan on going anywhere. So awesome. So we'll see you again. I'm going to appear yeah. in this video. I want to put, like, a name on it. <laughs> cool. Uh, Travels. 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 Yeah. So you're full-time RVing for, like, the rest of eternity now. Like, no, well, no, eventually a boat. A boat. But like, uh, yeah, yeah. No. RV for now, boat eventually. So you'll sell your RV. And exactly. Boat like exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right now we still just we're earning, paying off debt and earning money. Earning <laughs> money <laughs> and then enough to buy the uh, nice enough boat because we want we could buy a boat now but we want a nice. It's a forever boat. boat. Right. I mean, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. This is super cute. I don't know who plays chess here, oh, but I, I like it. I you met that guy right there. Yeah. They were playing chess. There's a, you know, some people. People are actually chess. playing chess. I assume Bobby Fisher. Is that who it is? No. And there's a not fountain there. Here is a deer out our window, as per usual. We get them pretty often. Hello, friend. My dog has actually come to revere them and not bark at them, which is nice. He's outside right now, just chilling, not upset. This is a big deer. Look at the deer. 